The Road to the Kentucky Derby. The Grade 3 $400,000 Holy Bull Stakes, a mile and a 16th, goes as race 10 at Gulfstream Park on Saturday with a field of 10. Two-year-old champion, the undefeated Shanghai Bobby, making his three-year-old debut. He will go from post number one with regular rider Rosie Napravnik aboard. Now, we haven't seen Shanghai Bobby since his victory in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile at Santa Anita. A big race that day. Battled all the way. Top of the stretch. He almost looked like he was going to be defeated, but a game performance down the stretch to hold off a fast charging. He's had enough. But let's look at some of the other contenders, including Burn Identity. This is the winner of the Sanford Stakes, but a very good second with a troubled trip around two turns in the Delta jackpot. He closed very well to just miss to Golden Sense. Now, Golden Sense has since come back to win the Sham Stakes, so a key race there. A couple of local horses, It's My Lucky Day, won the Gulfstream Park Derby, track and distance winner, and Talira Castle, also a big winner at Gulfstream. But the two horses I'm most interested in are the second and third place finishers out of the Kentucky Jockey Club, run at Churchill Downs, and these are Frack Daddy and Dewey Square. Now, Frack Daddy, he chased uncaptured all the way around, Dewey Square was not far behind them. The fractions were kind of slow, so these horses almost ran around a little bit in place. But I think Frack Daddy got the jump on Dewey Square. He battles gamely with Uncaptured down to the wire to just miss. But Dewey Square is the one that had a little bit wider trip, maybe, and made up a little bit more ground behind those slow fractions. I think these are the two horses that are most likely upsetters to the two-year-old champion, Shanghai Bobby. That's where I'll have my eyes on in South Florida. It's the Holy Bull Stakes, the first of three races at Gulfstream Park on the road to the Kentucky Derby.